welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. And now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a new brewery. At least it's new to me. It's from the Blackberry Farm Brewery. Now they're located in Maryville, Tennessee. I think I've only had maybe two or three beers from the state of Tennessee. And this is the Stonefly. And what does it say here? It's a double IPA brewed with blood orange, tangerine, and grapefruit. Oh, it sounds yummy. <laughs> oh, it's not for lightweight, though. It checks in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. Oh, dearie me. I'll be okay. I can handle it. 8.5%. Well, I tell you what, you may not notice the 8.5% while you're consuming it, but your body will notice it, no doubt. I'm going to use this Imperial Pint glass today. It's a 20-ounce glass. It's what they use overseas in every country but ours, you know, because we're still on the uh, American standard system. I don't know if we'll ever convert to metric. I really don't. I don't know. Let's put this right here. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> We're the last industrialized country in the world to not use the metric system. Well, there's a reason for that, but I'm not going to go into that on this video. Now, this poured out extremely clear. This really surprised me because I thought it was going to be a, one of those double dry hopped uh, New England style IPAs. Very beautiful, clear color, though, isn't it? Let's see if I can get my hand away. Isn't that nice? Sunlight, the evening sunlight's coming through the uh, window there. Beautiful, lively carbonation there, too. I don't know how well you can see that. Let's go ahead and pour a little more in here. Now, this beer wasn't cheap. I'm going to tell you how much it was in a minute as soon as I taste it and give my plus or minus on it. Let's get some aroma on it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm getting the grapefruit. But I'm disappointed. I was hoping to get that blood orange and tangerine because I really like beers that have some orange in them. Yeah. Uh, this head or foam, whatever you want to call it, is rather fluffy. It's rather fluffy, and it's not going to hold up. Let me put this beer over here before we have an accident around the equipment. <laughs> That's where I do my editing. So I have monitors everywhere and two keyboards here. We don't want to mess that up, baby, because then there won't be any more editing. <laughs> oh, now, now I'm getting that orange. Okay, so at first I was just getting the grapefruit, but now I'm getting the orange. Hey, I want to thank the brewers down there in Maryville, Tennessee, for all the hard work they put into this beer and brought it up here to Ohio. How lovely is that? Yeah, we need more beer from Tennessee and Kentucky. Yeah, I don't, I don't see too many uh, breweries represented here in Ohio from Kentucky. At any rate, I thank them, and I thank you at home for watching. Cheers to everyone. Very mild. I was expecting more of a kick-ass beer and a stronger presence with the blood orange and the grapefruit. But everything is well-balanced. This is an extremely well-balanced beer. Some delicate uh, malts there in the backbone. Very delicate malt. Oh, man. Just a lovely aroma, though. And now that it's warmed up a little bit in my hand, sometimes that's all it takes. Just a couple minutes in the hand to get that heat, that body heat into the beer. I tell you one thing, is uh, better be careful with this beer. It's eight and a half percent. I am not detecting that alcohol one single bit. This would be a great beer at a picnic or a barbecue. Hmm. Hmm. It's not going to offend anybody. It's not going to offend anyone. I go out on a limb here and say, if my grandmother were still alive, she might have a sip of this because it's a little bit orangey. A little bit grapefruity? Yeah, I know those aren't words, but yeah. Yeah. She would and say, oh, that's good. 
<laughs> yeah, I hope I hope she wouldn't drink too much though. <laughs> I saw my grandmother every once in a while have a little little drink of something or other. Yeah, she wasn't averse to a drink. But uh yeah, if anybody's in heaven, it's her. If she's not in heaven, then there's no hope for the rest of us. But I'm telling you right now, and I'm I'm sure we all have a grandmother like that, don't we? Yeah, because if she's not in heaven, I don't know what's going to happen to the rest of us. <laughs> We're in a lot of trouble. We're in a world of you-know-what. I do like this beer. Now, I'll tell you the price of this beer. It was $5.48. Ouch! Oh, you know, I think I just saw some orange bits come out of there. Did I? Let me see. Yeah, because a lot of times when you have, uh, no, I didn't. It's not as clear as it was though. It's a little, it's a little uh, cloudy. I thought I saw an orange bit come out of there for sure. And if it did, that's fine. I, I don't care. I don't care. Um, yeah, it's nice, nicely carbonated though. Oh. <laughs> Now that I put it all in there, see, I switched the can around. Mm, that blood orange is much more prevalent in here now. And so is the grapefruit. So I guess you have to pour it straight away, pour it all in at once. And if you don't, switch the can around beforehand so all those goodies come out. Man, but look at that beer. Wow. Isn't that nice? Wow. All right, my friends, I'm going to run out of here. But before I do, I'm going to show you the can one more time. The uh, Blackberry Farm Brewing Company. They're out of Maryville, Tennessee. This is the Stonefly. And it is a very decent beer. Very decent beer. Excuse me. First time I've ever heard of this brewery. First time I've had it. So I'm going to ask my uh, beverage store manager. Well, he's the owner. Uh, if he can get me some more of this beer from uh, from Tennessee, man, yeah, um, I think I had. Um, oh, I can't think of it. It was a, a really strange name for a brewery too. Doggone it, I can't think of it. It was a good beer though, man. Yeah, it's the only one that I can think of that I had, and it was sent to me by one of my uh, friends on Facebook. It uh, no longer corresponds with me. I don't know. He moved. I don't know where he's at. Yeah, yeah. People move and they lose track of things. And yeah, what are you, you going to do? Yeah, life is short, though. You got to be happy, my friends. No doubt about it. And to that end, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. <laughs>